All right, I've uh, I've done something stupid to my bassoon. I've, uh, I've I've taken a key off. I took off the high E key, and I did this to prove a point. Uh, I, I've been thinking about this a lot the last week. Uh, the bassoon has some technical deficiencies, and I think every bassoonist out there knows this. And it, it, a lot of it has to do with just, the bassoon's antiquated. It has not had any updates really since the, the Whisper Key was put on in 1905. So, uh, what was that, 115, 117 years since the last major update to the instrument? Uh, one of the things that is actually really uh, difficult and can be inaccurate is half holding where you take your first finger and slide it down to uncover a little bit of the first tone hold. Now, it would be great if it was always the same amount, but F sharp is like one quarter covered, G is half covered, A flat is three quarters covered, or you know, you can think of it as like two thirds, one uh, half, two, one third, or something like that. Anyway, but, the long story is, or the short story is, it's unreliable at best. The best bassoon players in the world can get that with really high accuracy, but for people who don't practice as much, it's not as reliable. So what I did is I took off the high E key. Now, I know that the high E key serves a double purpose. One, it'll get the high E out. Two, it serves as an F to G trill over the break. Da 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 da. F G F G F. Easy. Which tells me that it's in close to the acoustically right position for the vent for a half hole G. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play just with normal G fingering. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the pinky key down here. And I'm just going to play this, and we're going to see what happens. Is the note going to crack? I can't make it crack at all. Now, if I were to cover that up, so I've got a little piece of clay, some stuff I use for plugging up holes on the great bassoon, I'm going to play that same G. And you can hear some of those notes want to crack. Even though the, it, there's a little bit of half hole there, if I'm not 100% accurate, it doesn't work. Here it is without that tone hole plugged up. reliable it's a hair hair sharp like five cents or so now what does it do to the other half note whole notes here's a flat again I can't make that note crack what about F sharp oh yeah I can't get F sharp so that doesn't work for F sharp but it does for G and A flat, which arguably are, are a little bit more difficult to get. F sharp, uh, in fact, F sharp's half hole is so big that, let me just plug that up real quick, and I can just take off the first finger. <laughs> sharp but it works and it doesn't crack so what this uh, leads me to think is that if another vent hole basically the same spot on the board as the high E key were to be drilled in say like right here then you could easily have a another flick key that will get the G and A flat perfect every time.
Now, of course, I am probably absolutely crazy for thinking this, like, no, oh, no, let's not up in centuries of ascent technique, but it's like, I also want to be able to play that note consistently every time. I want to just be able to pick up the center and just go. And just play those notes perfectly every time. If you're a bassoonist and have ever encountered this problem, let me know down in the comments below. Um, of course, I'm absolutely crazy. I would probably never drill into the bassoon um, to, you know, put a new vent hole in. At least not until I, you know, 3D print a wing joint first. Oh, I could do that. Hmm. We shall see what happens.